It's been a little while since we've got an update on this story, but we've talked about it before with Team Executor and how the government and Nintendo went after them. And Gary Bowser, yes, an individual with the name Bowser was involved with Nintendo going after him and how he got, you know, jail time. It was freaking nuts. So Team Executor, they were selling the devices to hack your Nintendo Switch, you know, homebrew it essentially, be able to add different types of software, run emulation. But probably one of the biggest things that appealed to people was, you know, the pirating aspect. Like, hey, I don't want to buy Nintendo Switch games. I just want to download them and play them on my Switch. A lot of people are using it for that purpose. And Team Executor was selling the device to be able to do that. And they argued like, hey, the, you know, right to repair, that kind of thing. And it makes sense. But, you know, you get this tool to circumvent certain things with the device. People are obviously going to use it for nefarious reasons. But I don't think necessarily it's Team Executor in creating this device that was the biggest problem. It was more so that the team behind Team Executor, it wasn't just that they were selling it. Of course, Nintendo was going to go after it anyway. They want to protect, you know, their latest console. But it was also that they were providing websites. You know, there was kind of an umbrella organization here. They had websites that were hosting Nintendo Switch ROMs and stuff like that. So, yeah, it was the shit was bound to hit the fan. And Gary Bowser, he admitted to, you know, his role in this company, even though I believe Nintendo and whomever that was going after him, the, you know, whatever lawyers, prosecutors, whatever were saying, no, his like involvement was deeper than just being like a spokesperson or a marketing guy. But, you know, he pled guilty, got jail time and was, uh, he had to pay a restitution. This article from November, 2021 says that he agreed to pay Nintendo $4.5 million in restitution. But this latest article up from Torrent Freak where Gary Bowser, I've never seen his face before, but there's Gary Bowser right there. Um, he's been released from prison due to, to good behavior. He was a Canadian. He pleaded guilty being part of this group, Team Executor. He served his time, was let go, uh, and hey, he was, he was being good in federal prison. Now he's uh, preparing to return to Canada, his, his, the country of residence, right? So this article states that the group made millions of dollars through the through its operation and which effectively shut down shortly after the criminal proceedings. There was this other guy. So Gary Bowser was caught in the Dominican Republic and, you know, extradited back to the U.S. But this other person, Max Luarn, was detained in Tanzan Tanzania and whatever he managed to avoid extradition to the U.S. But Bowser or otherwise known as Gary Opa, <laughs> the operator of Max Console, a website that regularly reviewed Team Executor hardware and other hacking tools. See, it's like a, this whole thing. How do you have a website that reviews your own products? These guys, I don't know any of them personally, but I've brought this up before, but these Team Executor people, the Axiom, whatever website, they had a ton of different websites. They would hit me up. Hey, we want to send you this device. We want you to you know, showcase this with the, the switch or the 3ds, you know, these kind of things, these, these different tools and, you know, cartridges and stuff. And I was like, no, like I, I, you know, I'll talk about emulation, looking at stuff from 30 years ago, different devices that could play old games, but current hardware, Nintendo stuff, I ain't fun with it, dude. So like, I always turn these guys, I'm like, I ain't working with team executor on, you know, videos, reviewing their products, but I just find it funny. Like, they would review their own products. That's ridiculous, right? And it shows like Nintendo, they they go after, they continuously protect their, their properties, like hate it or, or agree with it regardless. Like they've continually gone after anybody that's messing with the Switch. And for me, it was always the thing. I'm not doing anything with the Switch other than showcasing, you know, actual products you could buy in the store, games that come out. Like there'll be a time when I'm comfortable with it. But while it's currently on the market, I'm not messing with it just the way it is. But Nintendo, they'd be going after people posting videos and stuff, not even um, trying to promote a product to hack the Switch or anything. You've seen people, I can't recall the names, but like somebody recently got a bunch of videos taken down, you know, claims by Nintendo for just showing videos of like, hey, modified games and stuff like that. Like they modified 
uh, Breath of the Wild changed things and just showcased it on the channel. And that's a no-go with Nintendo. It's crazy. Like, you can't hack a game that you're not selling anything. You're just, for entertainment purposes, you can't showcase that on your channel if it's a Switch game. Otherwise, Nintendo's going to come after you because they, they're they losing money. I don't get that part. That's the one thing I don't understand is if somebody shows, like, hey, I, I modified Breath of the Wild to change the physics or to add a skin or something crazy like that. Like, wouldn't... What, I guess it could go a couple ways now that I'm like it popped in my head. You would think like, hey, any any promotion of a game showcasing a game is a good thing. People might be interested, want to buy it, but then how do you do those modifications? You're either running through emulation on a PC or modifying the actual software on you know a, a hacked system. I don't know how that works. I've never messed with the Switch that way, but I guess it could go both ways. But Nintendo's like, no, it ain't happening, right? So let's continue on with Gary Bowser here. He got 40 months in prison, um, so last February, and he's he's been let go. When when did it say he was let go? Uh, somewhere, some sometime recent, within the past few weeks, I believe. Uh, the sentence significant, but lower than the five year prison term that the government requested. Said that it's important to send a message to the the judge during sentencing that a reduction was warranted as Bowser played the smallest role of the three defendants. He was incarcerated at the Federal Detention Center, SeaTac in Seattle. Like, right down the street from Nintendo, apparently. They want to keep a close eye on him, right? <laughs> a few weeks ago, his attorney put in a request for early release, citing time credits earned. Uh, that request was denied as mute earlier this month, as the Bureau of Prisons has pushed his release date forward. Uh, he did an interview with Nick Moses. Bowser explained he was released from federal prison on March 20. Okay, he was released from federal prison and he's processing at a detention center in Tacoma, Washington to prepare to return. So he hasn't been fully released yet, but he's prepping to be released and go back to Canada. So there you go. He's a 50 plus year old individual. Um, there we go. Beyond his medical condition, his age and the fact that he's born in Canada, uh, ice is working on getting him back to Toronto. Bowser said, so this this part is nuts. Like, how much punishment does the man deserve? I'd like to hear from you guys on this. So I thought it was like, okay, $4.5 million, which they'd never be able to pay that. But it says that it was $10 million that he, in damages, and he's paid 175 of it so far because as he worked in federal prison, he had a job. He was, he was paying them $25 a month. So he was making, you know, you go to jail and you make money in there. You're getting a little bit of money for commissary type of thing, put on the books, buy your little root beer barrels and freaking, you know, uh, uh, dried up refried beans and, you know, top ramen, whatever, right? All the little treats they can buy themselves. That's what they're using their money for. And you make very little. And the time he's been in there, he's paid back 175 bucks. That is freaking, that is crazy. So they, they go on the state. If he can uh, find a stable source of income, Nintendo will get a chunk of that as part of the judgment. He agreed to pay $10 million, which is in the main restitution priority. So it looks like there's other parts of it, but it's like the main $10 million to Nintendo. Uh, so they could take 25 to 30% of his income, and he has up to six months before he has to start making payments. So... If he doesn't get a job, if he lives on the streets, like they can't do nothing, right? They'll never get, no matter what, he could, unless he gets like a very high top level paying job, but with his background being in federal prison, being, you know, associated with these people, I don't know how, you know, how difficult it's going to be for him to, to, to make some money. You know, he got involved with some people doing some things that they shouldn't have been doing. And he was the one that was easily caught and extradited versus anybody else. So it's kind of crazy, you know, good behavior. He's an older guy. Did he learn from his lesson? I mean, I would imagine they're going to keep tabs on him, make sure he's not doing anything nuts out there, you know, redistributing switch ROMs or, or new devices or anything. And I would, I would think like after going through this headache, he wouldn't be doing anything like that anymore, but for them to be able to take up the 30% of his income, um, for the rest of his life, oh, that's that's a hit right there, man. That's a hit right there. That's some child support straight to Nintendo. Freaking nuts. But there you go. That's the update. Gary Bowser's out, or he's going to be completely out. 
He's got these financial consequences to deal with. Curious to hear from you guys what you think. But there's my little rant for the day. Appreciate y'all. Bye.